Hi everyone, um, I'm Musa. I'm currently interested to do a B.Ag degree. So I went to the Faculty of Economic Science and they told me about my degree which entails with three years undergrad, one year postgrad, um, three years article and also um, the one year you have to write your board exams and stuff like that. And I was also told about um, the BAC LLB which is a combination of accounting and law and they told me that it takes a lot it takes about I think it's it takes five years to be done and then if you want to major in accounting then you can have to do your extra three years and also I was taught that um, it, and also in your first year of your BAC LLB you do nine modules and I just got a lot of information. I'm very grateful for this opportunity for me to be able to learn more about my degree and also other degrees. And also I went to the Agricultural, Sci Agricultural Science Faculty. Um, I asked more about the faculty of, um, no, the degree called the BSc in winemaking as I heard about this a few days ago and they told me a lot. So that's it for me. Bye. Okay, hello everyone, I'm Lauren Hoffman and I'm studying the best degree that you can get. I'm studying BAC Accounting at Telangosh University and I must say, I love accounting. This is literally such an amazing degree to study. I know at first it may be daunting for many people, but I personally, yo, it's been a journey, but I do not regret it. Today I have my BAC degree in the bag and I'm just so, so blessed and happy to be able to have it because it really takes a lot of hard work and dedication and understanding and perseverance and determination but it's so worth it in the end because in at the end of the day there will always be a need for accountants and auditors and people who have the financial knowledge to run a business and because accounting is it is like obviously the main focus is accounting but you also have subjects like business management and economics like you do have a broad um, like knowledge of the industry that you're going into and I am very excited for the next generation of CAs that are coming to South Africa because we are a lot and I do believe that the next generation's chartered accountants will like bring transformative, they will transform um, South Africa. So stay tuned for that. And to all my fellow students out there, I just wanna say like, you can do this. You are able to do this. If you weren't meant to study, whatever you are studying, but if you're studying accounting, you, if you weren't meant to study what you're studying, you wouldn't have been here. You have came such a long way. So just know that you've got this. You are able, more than able, stay determined, stay focused, remember your roots, and just know that God will take you where you need to be. So yeah, stay blessed everyone, um, stay committed, and yeah, cheers. Uh, so my name is Lisa Mokwana, and I am a, oh, Lisa Mokwana, and I'm studying in Stellenbosch University. I do, I'm doing right now a PGCE, which is a, a postgraduate certificate in education, and I have an undergrad degree of EGO Environmental Sciences and Development which is basically um, each environmental is like studying um, human geography like how communities work how people affect you know e lenders are e earth and everything and also there's an element of e lenders are town planning property development you know you can also evaluate e in Dao before they build is it good for people to live in you know you so you study that i think my majors were to environmental and sociology and sociology is a study of people so you study people you study communities you study how people can coexist you know without violating each other and then right now i'm doing pgce and in future which you see the certificate that you do to become a teacher and i think it's one of my passions to actually um you know be in a space where i can build futures for people and one of the things i want to establish payana is to work further with the history and sociology of education which which is the study of um e inequalities within the basic education and i think now each and every school there shouldn't be a difference between a private school there should be a difference between a private school and the elite school and the schools in the townships and in so i feel like each school i think the education that we have right now 
it's not the same quality hence it manifests the people who come out of the system successfully some people don't even go to university after um being like a few black people actually because they are the ones who are affected the most by that system so i think the poor education that is offered reflects between the economy and i think that it's time that we invest in building a better education so that we can have people especially black people participate in the economy coming to university and making that change and breaking those cycles you know the poverty cycle so yeah guys thank you hi my name is ethan i am a final year student at stellenbosch university I graduated in 2019 with international studies and I'm doing pursuing postgrad law at the moment and I'm final year and the reason why I study law is because South Africa has been characterized by injustice for many years and that's why I just want to increase in value in terms of the law field so that I can guard into the law field and uh, address the injustices and also bring fairness or help bring fairness to our society and what I would say is um, what was attractive of, of the law faculty of Stellenbosch it is uh, inclusive to all students or attempts to be inclusive to all students and I would definitely encourage people watching this video uh, if you are matric or whatever to apply to university not just Stellenbosch but any university that you can or institution so that you can also educate yourself so that you can increase in value so that you can also go out and make a difference in other people's lives so you might be listening to this video and asking yourself what is law what does it mean to study law it doesn't mean to sit in a library the whole day and study so what is law law is when you study law at any university in south africa you basically do <laughs> A wide spectrum of laws, of legal fields that you are going to study, for example, labor law, constitutional law, private law, uh, delict or contracts or whatever. So, when you study law, you're not gonna first hand specialize in something. You first need to study all the law that there is. And after you've completed your study, then you have the decision of what law you wanna go practice in or what you want to do. So, law is not a limited field. It's a very broad field and when you study law it doesn't mean that you're going to become a lawyer necessarily you can use your law degree to do other things you can work for the government you can uh, work for a municipality or you can uh, you can go into the academic world and write legal articles or contribute to the, to the legal field through academics and not through working for a law firm or something and you can also maybe become a paralegal if, you, if you'd like to do that so law is not limited to one thing. There's a broad spectrum of things that you can do. And it basically depends on your decision that you make at the end of the day. Thank you. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Tabom Tumbini and I am a second year student in Stellenbosch University and I'm studying Human Life Sciences. So the Human Life Sciences degree is a nice degree that um, puts you in a place where you have a lot of options that you can go into if you are not unsure about what you're doing right now. So the modules that I have is physiology, psychology, genetics, biology and biochemistry and that's for the second year. However, if I'm finished with my um, third year, I can do an honours in physiology, psychology or I can even decide to go do the graduate entry medicine program in vet and then I can have a degree in medicine also but um, the human life sciences degree is it's not really the easiest degree but also not the most challenging degree so with the, with the right amount of work that you put in you should be able to see results and coming from me I didn't even have life sciences in high school but I still managed to do well in my first year and I'm also still surviving right now so going into any degree in varsity I think is just important to work hard and you will see the results. The pros, okay, the pros as I said, there's a lot of opportunities after the degree, mm -hmm. after your third year. I would say the cons is that if you are not planning on studying further than your third year, then you won't really have a lot of job opportunities. So it's really a wise decision to study further in order to make yourself more employed. Hi everyone, my name is Rivaldo Carolas and I studied a BSc in Food Sciences in the Faculty of Agri Sciences. So my degree has many aspects. You focus on your biochemistry, your chemistry, microbiology, food science itself, and it gives you a very broad spectrum of our food system and the 
food security that we have in our country and as well as the world. So yeah, that's a highlight, one of the biggest highlights that I can say about Salabash University is um, food science department. It is that we are a world a renowned department and one of the best in South Africa. I think it is the best if I may uh, speak under correction, but, but yeah, we are the best one and the best one South Africa so yeah great stuff yeah so studying food science is really an applied science it really takes you to broader spectrums to broader horizons specifically and so be dedicated be de disciplined you must really focus stay focused and know how to apply your science that what you want to do is what you actually want to make a difference in um, the food science field is very broad you can go into so many different things so really do not focus on one be open-minded and make sure that if you want to do food science because food science is real and the one thing that we call in agri science is that one day you need a doctor the other day you need a lawyer but you need a food scientist every day so hello uh, my name is Nye Bombanga I study I've studied computer science second year uh, so what does computer science entail? First of all, you have to look at how you get into it. So what you need to get into it, you must have um, maths, which is compulsory, and we have <clears throat> with, with the maths, you must get 70%, right? And you can do computer science without having IT as a background from high school, but we must have physics or life sciences, and those things must also be 70%. And your average of six, of six uh, subjects without LO must be also 70%. So that we can get into computer science, not the extended degree, but the mainstream. So when you get into the mainstream right now, with with Stellenbosch is one, which is different now because they're having computer science as a whole module of its own, as a whole course of its own. So what it, what computer science entails here in Stellenbosch, you're gonna have maths, you're gonna have applied maths, you're gonna have computer science, you're gonna have science and context, and your fifth um, module is gonna be an elective. What an elective is. It's a module that you can take that you can fail or not. It's not gonna affect your year or so. So with your with your electives, what you, your electives have chemistry, physics, music technology, and economics. So you can choose between those four things, which what you, which you wanna do. And so what your first year will look like will look like all of those things I just mentioned. Um, that's how it is. And what I can advise you as a first person who hasn't done computer science first and foremost, attend your tutorials attend class ask a lot of questions and remember there isn't any dumb question because you need those questions in order to understand the modules and also ask seek for advice well, seek for advice and help don't don't struggle on your own seek for advice for your classmates you know that have done it before and you can also go online if you're in skin methods right now go for an app called go go a little app called solar land it teaches you what you want to do so if you go for solar land, search for Java because in, in, here in Salem Wash, the first language in which you use as a computer science student is Java. So use Java as your first beginning language and you can do that. If you're going to go to UST, it's Python. So those two, Python and Java, you learn how they work. So when you learn those things, learn the basics, the syntax, the syntax, the language and how it works, the syntax errors and whatnot. If you learn those things, you're good to go for your first year. And for maths, study maths so hard, bro. Study maths, code every day cold every day like they aren't any day off the only day off you can have is when you sleep in um, trust me have a schedule that is very suitable that you get enough sleep get enough rest and st start st still study hard and that's another thing also one thing your mental health number one priority so you feel like the work is overwhelming you which tends to happen with the degree that i'm doing you seek advice to, to the csd cdc and they can help you there and how they can give you like support, the like group support and things like that as well. Yeah, so so second year you still choose what you want to do again, but you're going to be majoring in computer science. So what happens when you fail computer science as a module? So what happens is now you have an, you add an extra degree, an extra year to your degree as well. So now if you're going to be by Nesfas, so Nesfas has this rule of N plus one. So you have your degree duration plus one. So if you have three degree plus one is going to be four years. So you're only allowed to fail one year. You know what I mean, so that's another thing. So, what happens now if you go smooth sailing and you finish everything for the three year degree? You can have your degree. So, certain people in our field of study they always go for honors because it gives them a more boost when they want to go for work as well. So, yeah, you can decide to do honors or not, but it's more, more popular to do honors to, to help you chances of getting a job. So, what kind of jobs can you have when you have computer science? So, the kind of jobs that you can have when you have computer science are 
one <coughs> software developer two can be data mining as well three can be cyber security four can be a teacher five can be a junior lecturer so all those things you can do those so you have to google what cyber what software developers are because you can go to gaming you can go to animation you can go to anything actually and you can go to any field of study you can go to any field you can go to teaching you can go to education no education is teaching you can go to like maybe uh mining as well they need computer people a set of careers as well so you can do those things yeah i think that's about it but most of all man all i can say is uh, when you want to do this degree you have love for it because it's difficult if you're looking for money money is only going to take you to first year for second yes for second year second semester 244 has made a lot of people drop out and those people wanted money but if you have the passion for it then 244 is going to be a challenge and obstacle to getting what you want so have the passion rather than the love for money that's because passion is going to take you very far yeah thank you thank you um hey um so um guys uh as closing remarks i am very 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 proud of my team and uh the amount of work that we had put in uh, to see it being reflected in the event today and how everything just came out as planned and uh how everything just went according to plan i'm very thankful for that um the event had a great turn out um i am you know very uh pleased with how everything went and uh, the mentees were very interactive and the speaker speakers were very explanatory i can't thank them enough they went out of their way to help us and they were very passionate about their courses and explaining uh to uh, our mentees and actually uh, having an impact on our mentees um in terms of uh helping them make a, an educated decision for uh, what they choose to um to do next year so i am very 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 thankful um to the speakers i owe them the world uh, we owe them the world as game artists we are very 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 grateful and thank you very much uh to the mentees as well you guys were respectful you guys were uh, interactive you guys um were inquisitive um and you asked really really important um questions and the speakers are actually um impressed by the level of questioning of questions that you guys asked them so i am very very proud of you guys um thank you very much class of 2022 uh today was a successful day peace